Second out, round five. And we're out for the fifth round of the scheduled eight. With, of course, the world champion Maurizio Stecker of Italy, the world champion. Well, just making this a sort of a sparkling exhibition workout. But a good game opponent in Roy Muniz, but that uh, is not enough. He's been stopped four times in his career, Muniz. It's really, that's not too bad when you think of the, his overall record. But I would think he's got a good chance of getting stopped here now. Well, he got one success there, and the crowd are cheering him on. They are always with the underdog, even if they can be entirely neutral with this one. You get the feeling if Stecker would sustain an attack, they would probably take control, but he lands a couple of nice punches, moves back out again. It is just like a little boxing exhibition. As I say, he doesn't have a home crowd to impress. He, he's probably just treating this as a nice little earner in between world championship bouts. But uh, keeping in mind uh, cuts and head clashes and all that kind of stuff, it'd be better going forward here and just uh, taking command and getting that fell out of there. He's doing as he likes, he's landing when he likes, so it's time to get him out of there. Certainly London's Tim Driscoll gave him a harder fight than this. It went to the ninth round and uh, was giving him a go in a fight that looked well, well above the ability, really, of Driscoll, but he, he stayed in there with uh, Stecker until he had a nose bro broken. I feel a, a quality, you know, world title boxer with some power would give Steck all sorts of problems because uh, Muniz is just coming straight through his punches. He's not troubled in the slightest. So a real quality opponent, I would think, would give the Steck all sorts of problems. Well, that's it, Jim. That uh, until the, the WBO force any sort of nominated challenger to fight him, a mandatory fight, I think that it may not happen. See, and it's. Uh, it's a good chance for the title to be taken, but on the other hand, Jim, he's got so much ability that uh, sometimes... Oh, a real classy boxer, yeah, but uh, I mean, now it's beginning to sway well away from Muniz, but Muniz has given him plenty of problems, uh, keeping in mind he's just brought over as an opponent. But he's take out, taken charge now, uh, as he should have done a couple of rounds ago for me. But... Uh, certainly in boxing terms, a, a worthy world champion, good technique, uh, good sharp punches. Does a little bit of everything. Been watching him since he got a gold in the European Juniors. Actually, stepped back in '82. That was when Errol Christie won a gold. At Certainly putting up a show here, Roy Muniz. You know, these takes a lot of guts to do all that travelling and then get him with a world champion and hang in there as long as you can. <laughs> so a close-up then of the world champion Stecker, first appearance in Britain. Reminder it's scheduled for eight, non championship fight. And to re identify Mauricio Stecker in the white and blue trunks and uh, Roy Mooney's from Denver, Colorado. Right. And the, the referee, Richie Davis, an East Londoner. This is where you feel that Stecker would sustain the pressure, sustain the action that uh, maybe the referee would have to step in. And he's hitting this little fellow whenever he likes. So if he just sustained it for a, a half a minute or so, I think the referee would get him out of there. He's winning nothing and he's taking a lot of punches. Yeah. 
that happened at this stage of the contest, Jim, I think Munez would look at him and say, what was that for? You know, he looks as though he's, he's been in a few uh, tough battles in his time. He yeah, doesn't expect to get stopped unless he's been knocked over. Yeah, this is probably just a night out for Munez. He certainly, he's never taken a, a backward step, just keeps trudging forward. Still trying to get in there. Yeah, any, any success that he has, certainly the crowd are giving it to him. They're going very quiet and watching for what uh, Stecker's trying to turn into an exhibition in some ways. Oh. See, now and again, I see Muniz's head being knocked well back with the punches, and I never like to see that. Oh, he turned that beautifully there, Jim, didn't he? That was... So that's what I don't like to see. It's all over now. Yeah, quite right. You were just saying there, we might as well stop it. And, uh, and Muniz, is, is, he really is, he said exactly as I thought, looked at the referee, and just to say, what was that all about? But in the sixth round, Brilliant exhibition, let's face it, from uh, Mauricio Stecker, this man. And, uh, well, whatever happens in the future now, sort of look, look, Colin McMillan got a close-up on him, and he knows what's in store. This is the end of the fight, Jim. Yeah, well, uh, the little kid had given all, all he has, and his head was being knocked back with the punches, and I say, Reg, I never like to see that. See, I don't like to see a fighter's head being rolled back like that. That's when damage can be inflicted. I like to see the neck nice and tight. The referee picked the right time. There was never any question. He'd lost every round. A couple of little uh, successes now and again with single punches, but it was all Stecker, so it was time to say goodnight.